I'm here at Martin Batchelor's uh, gallery again uh, with a show called Exit. And uh, sometimes it's uh, pretty obvious why it's called Exit. There's the Exit, the diagonal line, which is a lot to do with movement. We were told in art school that uh, diagonal lines create movement and uh, horizontal and vertical lines create stability. So there's a lot of movement going on and uh, I was really touched by those um, thousands <laughs> maybe millions now, refugees throughout the world and uh, certainly this past uh, year or two with the Middle Eastern and European refugees, not because they're in the media, but just because it's, it's, it's on such a grand scale. And I think also about the, uh, the fence that um, school kids had to uh, endure it through those um, uh, residential schools. I, I felt very uh, deeply about that too. So, so the uh, the fence installation here is a part of that, and it's just a part of my querying and inquiring about uh, what divides us and what unites us. So I've I've asked in this installation here to uh, for people to come and think about a, a time and a space where they might have been um, you know, restricted, um, and uh, how someone got them out of that restriction because um, it's invariably someone helped them out. And that's what connects us, is helping and being helped. I think, uh, I think of my own, I've got several names that I'm gonna be putting on this fence. And so I'm hoping uh, it's not perhaps just a restrictive space, it could also be a, could also be a, a, a protective space here too. So I'm uh, giving the option, and there's been people who have protected us as well in the past. Uh, so just a name, and hopefully by the end of the month, you know, this fence will be covered in names and stories. I've heard a couple of stories already tonight, they're really touching, amazing stories. So, um, and that's where the objects tell stories. There's the history of an object. Uh, I had a primary school uh, um, experience where the teacher asked us to write the story of a pencil. And that stuck with me all along. I mean, uh, you know, your imagination can run rampant on the life of that pencil, what the stories it wrote, or the drawings that it drew, or the, you know, the eye that it poked into, or whatever. I mean, it's just a whole range of things that that uh, are pencil. And so these objects, these found object pieces in these uh, wall panels, are about that too. It's about a story, and it's about space. Spacing is very important, and that's what this is—a physical human space. But the uh, the object, the objects are also working and playing with space. So.